Watch him throw the ball, we gon' pick it off You gon' let him hit the hole or you gon' cut it off You gon' play through fourth and long or you gon' punt it off Your defenders have you hit us, put your pads in Don't be looking for the ref to throw no flags in Keep the helmet on, keep the cleats tight You the type to want to win by any means, right? You should look alive, this is Trap or Dive My bad, Damn, my bad Saying shout out to Monte and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. very good intro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Welcome back to another episode of the Trapper Die Podcast, provided to you by 214 Media. I'm your host, Molly Mole. Sorry, I got a little text message that got me confused for a second. Molly Mole, Hen Dog Mole, Brad. Tequila Mole. Nick got a new meal every time he log on to the show. All that good stuff. Bro, how are you eating during the show like that? I can understand if you got a snack. This nigga eating a fuck. He's eating a dinner, bro. That's not, that ain't, that's not professional. What, bro? Look, what, bro? I'm hungry. I got to eat. Stuffing your face with that uh sour cream covered Chipotle. First off, it's not Chipotle. It's what I do every show now. So get over it. Okay. Get All over right. it. You sound, you sound stupid, man. Also, this is a good meal. It's a salmon. Corn. We didn't ask corn. what it was, bro. Name of corn and orange and um and orange spinaches. Okay. Yeah. It's... Did you say spinaches? Spinaches, bro. Yeah. Multi- oh, multiple. Okay. Multiple All right. Spinaches. Yeah. All right, bro. Spinaches. Hey. Administrative item, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. Show the game some love, man. Hey, look, we ain't that far. I think we like 30, 30 away from 1K, man. Go ahead and make that happen if you ain't. Subscribe yet to the Travel Die podcast, bro. You are ugly, bro. Come on, bro. You nah, are man. Ugly. But y'all know what we got on the show today catching up with Dallas and Tennessee. Obviously, we know that Tennessee is on a bye week, but we yeah. do got a dub this week. Yeah, the the the, the Colts sure did get a dub, but we do got a, a game to preview because they got the Colts in town this upcoming week. Um, a very interesting matchup with a team who's won two in a row. The last two actually being uh, game winners uh, in, in a particular fashion, one overtime, one in the last seconds of the fourth quarter, and the Indianapolis coach, Matty Ice, is coming back to life, so it seems. Um, and obviously, we got our power rankings. That's going to be the brunt of the show. But first thing first, first thing first, we got that blind five. <laughs> And you know, I ain't lose a game all season, man. We got that blind five about this thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Nick finna kick things off so I can whoop right ass once again. Mm. You definitely like two and seven. God damn. damn. You got to be like two and seven. Bro, I can't pay you no mind because I love, the, I love, I look, I, it's a reason why I always come back to some of the things I'm talking about. Russell Wilson, I ain't never going to let that go. Well, that's one. That's all you Derek, got. Derek Carr. No, it's not all I got. Derek Which Carr. One? That's another one. That's on the same list, is it not? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. Talk about your boy Lamar. Lamar can't can't finish. Shopping, yeah, Lamar bro. Jackson had a Lamar Jackson had a bad game. Bad he just, games. Uh, he had a bad four, game. Four, six interceptions have been in the uh, fourth quarter, sir. All right, and how many times did he throw? How many times did he throw his his four interceptions? How many in times he lost three leads in the uh in in the this season, bro? Did he, did he lose the leads? Yeah, it did. Hmm. He didn't keep them. I can tell you that. Interesting. I guess when you're when you're when you're up three digits. I mean, I say three digits, three possessions, and your defense gives up so many points. That's a keep scoring, man. If you that good, keep scoring. I don't. You know what's funny? Keep this ain't scoring. Gonna this ain't going. This straw. This little straw man ain't going to work with me, buddy. You better you better try another you better try another fella. Tell your boy keep scoring, bro. If it's that if it's that easy, we know bro. if you want to put if you want to put this Lamar Jackson argument out there for the world to hear it, be my guest. But I ain't. I'm I just ain't, saying. I'm, I'm just saying. You're talking about these other. We know Lamar, but your guy ain't doing what you say he' supposed to do. All right. Well, how many games did Russell Wilson won? Two. Two. Mm. How many Lamar how many games, won? How many games? Three. How many games did Lamar won? One more uh, than him. By the same. Mm. 
All right. Well, that record that record trumps Russell Wilson's. Mo, please. Oh my God, Mo. I really thought you had a better argument with that. Congratulations. Well, bro. one plus one is two, Nick. Did you get that? <laughs> Did you get yeah, that? You ain't, hey, you ain't got shit to say about huh? that, dog. Three and three. Two and four. All right, Mo. Hey, Nick, please, bro. Help Come me. on, bro. Come on, son. I Come need on, that. Man. Come on, bro. Hey, I'm about to win again. Let's get it. Hey, what we talked, we, th- we did some other jokes, too. And you know what? The la- last week don't really, that was a little late. That was a little soft joke because we did surprise teams. So I ain't really going, I ain't going to hold that against Raph. What we got this week, bro? Today, I'm going to give y'all an option, bro. We got the top five games or top five games of this year so far. Or a blind five of, that consists of the top five teams over 500 and above currently right now. All right. Say it again. The five of the best games this year so far. Or. Or five teams about 500 and above. Okay. Five teams, 500 and above. But what, but what, so we're just ranking. Just ranking the teams that's 500 and above, but you still know what teams they are. Okay. Um, fair enough. So which one you want? I like the I like the I, I, like I like the think, same one with Raph, the five hundred and above. Yeah. I think it's kinda easy though. But go ahead. I mean yeah. you don't know what teams is five hundred and above, bro. But once you say the name, the stand I'm is, the stand to... is right in front of me. Go ahead. All right. First team on the board. Something slight. Atlanta Falcons. They're three and three? Five hundred. Wow, five. <laughs> five. I'm doing the same thing, bro. Five. They just beat San Fran, bro. They actually, I ain't gonna lie. Right. San Fran hurt though. I guess. They I mean, five. Technically, baby. some some what is Atlanta to a, to an extent, but to an extent, bro. New York Jets. Four. They four and two, bro. Four. That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn, Show I some, fucked up. Show some respect, bro. I like their defense, though. I'm going to do four, two. Seattle Seahawks. <clears throat> God, this is a sorry team, bro. Are they really? <laughs> at least they 500 and above, bro. <laughs> ain't got a choice. Three. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, bro, this, this is crazy. Three. I'm in the same boat, bro. New York football giants. Oh, my God, bro. This is a terrible list. Bro. I don't think Nick prepared for this one. Five and one, bro. Two, bro. Two. Bro. Two. 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 Which I want Two, you to pick? Bro. Oh, the Eagles, the Bills. No, nah, it don't work like that, bro. I, uh, Last one. It got too comfortable, bro. You we got cut, cut me out. Hold on. We gonna, yeah, we got to cut that out, though. You got to cut me out. <laughs> Hey, what's going on with this show right now, bro? Uh, man, who number, who number one, hey, bro? Hey, bro, it just slipped right out, bro. Go my fuck. <laughs> number back. one, who's not a team over 500. The uh, five and one Minnesota Vikings. Or they four and one. Bro, you really gave five, four, three, two, one, bro. I feel like you could have read these joints in different orders. Y'all should have. Put them teams first of all. I, don't, I, I feel like you read them. The only the them. only switch that I would have did was New York Giants five and Atlanta four. Everything else, I'm sorry. Let me be more clear. I would have did New York Giants number four, at uh New York Jets number five, Atlanta number three, Seattle number two, and many one. If I had to re- if I had to redo it with everything in front of me, I would have did it that way. So so what is your all right? That's your list that you just said. That you wanted to be. What's your list right now? We we got the same order. Me and Rod got the same exact order. Atlanta five, Jets four, Seattle three, Giants two, Minnesota one. I hope you happy, bro. Yeah, I you got the you. results you wanted. You wanted a tie. You you was tired of me whipping on Ryan's, bro. Me. No, no, bro. Yeah, bro. Not what, bro? What? Not, first off, y'all disrespectful to these teams, bro. I got the blind five. Okay, week, okay, Nick, go ahead. Let, let us know what you next week, bro. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> How you going to demote Nick after five <laughs> lives, bro? Nah, right with all these haymaker teams. Oh, Eagles one, Bills three. Come on, bro. Chiefs. Bro, you can't get it like that, bro. Right, bro. Well, luckily, we about to do our power rankings today. So how about that? That's That'll be the offset. We can kind of dive into the our, our, uh, our five teams. I already got my five. I did my I did my preparation this morning. So hopefully, I, I hope y'all did y'all preparation too. Quick question. Um, did y'all yeah. see the... um? Did y'all see the Jaguars coast game? Nah. I mean, I saw the game winner. And I was following on red zone, but that don't count. Okay, never mind. What did y'all see? Did y'all see Cincy the Saints game? Oh, yes. I was I was same thing, red zone. So I can only watch I can only watch the Giants and the in the, the Ravens for real on like on local TV. Hmm. All right, I'm on there. But both those games were amazing this weekend. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Shout out to Cincy, man, covering that, that spread. So I got nervous for a second. But they came back and they been the same thing with the Giants. Shout out to the Giants covering that spread, that six and a half shouting. All right, yeah. Hey, did y'all know the uh, Bengals haven't given up a second half touchdown all season? Which is why, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to the segment. But – um, no, I didn't know that to answer your question. I didn't know that part, but I knew that their defense was underrated. There was something that I noticed like watching them, but I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't put that, what you just said into the picture. Like, damn, they really, they really been strapping, but they really haven't given up a touchdown in that second half. No, they, they, okay. be, they be balling. Okay. All right. So let's get into the shit that we see on social media, man. How y'all feel about Kyler Murray, bro, and these, these Arizona Cardinals? Um, I guess we can mesh this with the true or false as well, but Kyle Murray is now two and forty-seven when Call of Duty has a double XP weekend. And Ryan, in case you don't know, I know you, I know you in the chat, but I know you don't play the game either. Um, double XP is a big thing for all our Warzone fiends out there, and just Call of Duty fiends, and um, it's the moment in which you can spend a lot of time on the video game uh, and 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 come up a ton, whether it's weapons or camo or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. This this is your opportunity in, in double XP weekend to sit there for hours at a time and grind shit out and have something worth value come out of it. So Kyler Murray in those moments where Call of Duty has had double XP weekend is two and forty seven. What y'all think about that, man? Is that a coincidence or is that, or is that a dude who's a little distracted? First of all, who who sat here and found what do you mean out? he's two and forty seven? Like what what do you mean? Two and forty seven meaning his actual record. Oh Lord Jesus! Hold on one second. Throw me off. You gotta explain. I don't know what you're talking. about. You talking about Call of Duty? What are you talking about? His, no, no. His actual, his actual NFL record. When this weekend happens, you're saying he's two and forty-seven. And you know was you know was wild. And I think it was a typo. I think it's two and twenty-seven. I'm about to um, say he ain't played that many games. Yeah, I'm about to say that's a that's a typo. And I'm mad that I I literally copied and pasted this one. It's actually frustrating looking at this one. Um, I know is. Let me look at his record. Let me go ahead and do a Google a live Google. His record isn't a winning record. They was doing. They started tracking this. I mean, they started tracking this when his contract details came out, because you know they said they had to put in his film study and things like that. So at, at some point, somebody looked up how double XP because he used to play on Call of Duty a lot, and he, even in streams like when when Nick, when we all used to watch those streams, those famous streamers, he would you know he would do like he would hop in on their sessions. So like that's how we knew like Kyler Murray. He he was on he was on this shit for real. Record. Oh, here you go. Record doing double XP weekend. So he is, and this is August third. So this is before the season started. He is. Let's go ahead, scroll it down a little bit. 18, 16, and one on normal weekends when Kyler Murray is under center. On double XP weekends, they are four and seven. So. I'm not even about to give credit to the fucking to the assholes who who gave me that stat, um. But yeah, it's a four huge and seven, difference. yeah, that's a huge difference, bro. And I don't know, I should have just I should have just googled it after seeing that number. But either way, he's under five hundred thirty six percent win percentage. Um, uh, I wonder what the double XP thing is now, because I don't know what's happened throughout this season. I haven't been paying attention, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and move on to the true or false part. About the Cardinals, and never mind that double XP thing. 
what's going on with with, with Robbie Anderson and, and, and the Cardinals, man? Do you all like the trade? But also, uh, true or false, does it scream desperation from Cliff Kingsbury, the head coach? Uh, false. Uh, does not scream desperation because they acquired Robbie Anderson because they didn't really give up much. I think it was like a, a six and a seven, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe y'all can correct me. But, I mean, you really didn't give up too much. And you just lost Marquise Brown for the season. Yeah, you got A.J. Green, but I'm not that high on A.J. Green. Like, I guess Maul still thinks. I'm not sure. I'm just saying, based off what I've seen in the, in the chat, you made it seem like A.J. still, I guess, is decent in the league. But, I mean. There you go. I'm about to say, he, he's, he's an above-average player at this point. He's a good three or good two. But he ain't, he's yeah. an above-average player. It's awesome. But I, I only think it, it only helps them. Getting Robbie Anderson. I mean, it's just another target. Stretch the field, got speed. DeAndre Hopkins coming back Thursday. I mean, it's only going to help, in my opinion. So, uh, no, it doesn't scream desperation. I can't remember the first part of your question. Hopefully, I answered what you said. But yeah. And what do you think about Robbie in, in, in Arizona? But true or false, is it a desperation move? You said yeah. false about the desperation part. So, right. the, the question is about Robbie Anderson in, in Arizona. But, yeah, I think Robbie definitely helps the offense. Um, definitely can use somebody like him. I mean, he hasn't really been much of a weapon, I guess, uh, over the last couple of years because playing with, I guess, I don't even know who the quarterback was when he played in New York and then coming over and having to play with the Panthers with Cam Newton, Sam Darnold, and I can't even think of the quarterback before then. <laughs> <laughs> who was the quarterback in Carolina before uh, Cam, when Cam was out for, for a little bit? Kyle Allen. It was several quarterbacks. Kyle Allen, Will Greer, Taylor Heineke for like a half a half a game, I think. <clears throat> Heineke well, yeah. played with them? Yeah, he was around. That's that's why he's in Washington. Surprise. Oh, they brought both of them. I thought just Kyle Allen was there. Okay. So he had a history. But yeah. I know we talk about Robbie, but he had a history. Scott Turner, Taylor Heineke, even to Minnesota with the Minnesota Vikings. So, so. Yeah. But uh yeah, you know, getting Robbie is not, it's not a desperation type of move. I mean, because they didn't really, really give up too much to get him, and I feel like it's just going to help him. I mean, you know, that's where I'm at. Nick? Uh, yeah, I'm, I kind of feel the same way. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt you. Who are you going to draft in the sixth and third round that's better than Roby Anderson? Um, somebody. Uh, I don't even think the Panthers even draft well after the third round. <laughs> first round for real, so I <laughs> ain't nothing to use them picks anyway. If any good use, um, but definitely with Marquise going down, obviously you gonna need somebody not to to replace him with production. Um, so I think I don't think it's really an upgrade, but the more the merrier, bro. I mean, Kyler Murray, give him some more weapons. Um, I don't know that it's something about the Cardinals that just haven't clicked. They haven't scored like a, a touchdown in the first quarter. D hop, bro. That's not it though, bro. Like their it first, ha- trust me, their first halves have been tr- atrocious. I don't think they scored. I bet um, you they're gonna look different when D Hop get back. Yeah, I, I hope so. Um, but I just and then, but how long does it take for D Hop to get back in? You know what I'm saying? Game shape. You just don't hop back out there and be like, oh, I'm good. He about to go off Thursday. Everybody else has been playing. They're in game shape. They ready to go. You know what I'm saying? He because I don't think he's gonna play that good this weekend, bro. And then during his suspension, he couldn't be in a facility, right? He just has to work out his own. Um, so it's coming in on a short week, trying to get your feet together, bro. It, I don't see him doing that much. He might be like decoy. Well, I mean, but why? Why not? Why don't? Why don't you think him? I mean, why don't you think? What you mean doing that much in the game, or what you mean doing that much to get himself prepared to play while he been out this whole time? Uh, I I don't see him doing that much in the game. Uh, okay. It's hard. It's just hard to like. Turn it back on that quick, and everybody else is. They got six games under their feet, bro. He about hundred twelve yards, two TDs. If he do that, his first game back, he amazing. And he must twelve been, yards, two TDs. Right, said it first. He must have been playing in Canada for the last couple of weeks to get you know what I'm saying the shit together. But you just don't turn it on like that first first week, bro. They about yeah, D hop often and early. That's that's what you want though, because he's your fantasy, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. Doesn't matter, bro. Often and early, D D Hop getting the rock. Simple as that. <laughs> well, he about to run all decoy routes. 
Okay. Let's roll coach D Hop and then AJ Green finna go off. Stop it. Do y'all think Roby even finna play Thursday? They, I don't think so. I don't think he playing Thursday. I was say, cuz just got here, bro. If he played Thursday, they desperate. Yeah, but that's desperate. If that's that's. Hey, first Roby. of all, bro, I don't need you to know much to go out there and be in a couple formations just to go out there and run a flat. Get in the scene, run a run a nine, bro. All right. So yeah, every time Roby come in, hey, we know what he running. He taking off, bro. Well, hey, you got to check it. <laughs> hey, yeah, Kyler, what I got? Take off. Come on, bro. You know why you win. <laughs> Take off, bro. Come on, baby. You know why you win. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't see that happening. But yeah, this week, bro. Who I'm trying to think who that oh Rondell Moore, Isabella. Hey, AJ. Stop. Robbie yeah. ain't playing right now. Robbie no, not gonna play immediately. So we already said AJ though. And where you been at, Mo? We just talking about that. No, nah, I'm he was just naming he was just naming this, he was just naming the players. Yeah, I, I I'm not gonna leave your precious guy out there, bro. I want me to say AJ, Isabella, Rondell, D Hop. And then eventually. Look, I'm looking at this on now. You have Marquise Brown averaging 11 yards of reception in six games. I mean, drops he got, bro. Just know he could be having some. I don't know what it is about Cuz, but he be having the worst time in drops, like Brandon Carr type drops. Like Andy Isabella three, played three games. He ain't around, bro. He ain't around like people. He played three games, had two catches on the season. He ain't doing Who that. The- who the hell was Greg Dooch? Dorch. Um, Greg Dorch. That's something familiar. Yeah, Tighten. I ain't gonna lie to you. Before I even looked at their roster, I, it makes sense for why they traded for a receiver. But I think that I think this is a larger problem. Um, makes a ton of sense now why they traded for a receiver. Looking at their stats, so I'm not gonna sit here and say that it was a desperation move anymore. Um, but I will. Like I think what the trade exemplifies is the fact that they did a terrible job of building around. Now, obviously, DeAndre Hopkins has been gone um, for the six games. He comes back now. But then, fellas, like, you had D-Hop last year, and while your offense looked okay, looked good, let me be clear, looked good, better than okay, um, at some point, it capped off. (laughs) Like, that offense capped off, and it capped off with D Hop in the game. I mean, D Hop in in the in the uh yeah in the game with you all. Um, obviously he missed some time last year too, but saying he came back and, and he still still capped off. And I think ultimately with this offense, I don't know exactly what the root cause is for why, um, you know it's underperforming. And when I say root cause, I mean like I know what the issue is. It's Cliff Kingsbury. It's his offense. It's the reason why. These guys are 16th in the NFL in yards, uh, 16th in passing, though they pass the second most in the NFL. Um, they're not running the ball as effective as they as they could. Um, defense is solid, but back to the offense, you're you're 22nd in points. <laughs> um, like a, a lot of this has to do with the head coach who's who's brought over every single aspect of who he is from Texas Tech, um, and from his years as coaching into the Arizona Cardinals, the NFL league. Um, has struggled producing points, and he thinks that a receiver is going to be the reason why you are going to be able to score more points. That is my issue with the trade. Um, it screams like a coach who doesn't understand that it's not about the amount of athletes and short playmakers are better, and the more you have, the better. But, fellas, if you're sitting here telling me a head coach is going to trade for a, a – an above average receiver <laughs> in in the middle of the season and think that's going to sh- change or write the shit for you all. Use a goddamn fool, bro. I mean, but in his defense, I feel like his 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 backfield, I think like James Conner hurt. Whoever the backup is, I believe he hurt too. Um, so he can't really run the ball like that. I know Kyler's been, you know, doing what he can. And the biggest reason I feel like the Cardinals don't their offense stutters after like week 11, week 10. Which happens every year. They start off high week one to ten to eleven. They're doing great. Eight fireworks. And then um But don't you think it's a little different this time around, seeing as how the offense It's in the beginning of the season. Yeah, it's right. better now. Um, but I'm, I'm just saying in the previous before this uh season, they don't really have they never had a great running game. And usually in December, November, teams that run the ball well are most likely to be more um 
it's more sustainable and it's like I don't know. I just say running the football works better later in the season. Nobody really wants to play. Nobody wants to hit nobody. So you fuck around, got a nasty team, you want to hit somebody in the mouth, all that fancy shit get out the window. Um, <laughs> and that's why I feel like Baltimore, they start off well, but they also end the season well because who want to go to Baltimore in the cold and fuck around, get hit in the mouth a hundred times a day? Nobody want to do that shit, bro. So you fuck around, get a team that's soft like the Cardinals. And that's probably a, a reflection of um, Cliff, you know, because I don't see him as like no tough guy for real. Uh, he don't so. gotta be no tough guy. But I'm just saying, though, like he nothing about him screams like postseason football. Like, <laughs> like even with Sean McVay, like he he got some grit to him. Kyle Shan, they got some fire to him. Like that, and San Fran plays like that. Like they got other coaches, D'Amico Ryan's. They got coaches that's like, man, we finna beat this shit out, y'all. Cliff is like, I might. You know what I'm saying? Like, I won 10 games. We won we won nine games, 10 games. I'm cool with that. Um, and then he just don't seem like that. Like, Mike McCarthy's a guy that doesn't seem like a I want to hit you in the face type of guy. Uh, Nick Serrani, Brian Dayball, Mike Tomlin, Bill Belichick, all these guys give you that fire as a coach. Uh, Robert Sala. Cliff don't give you that, bro. Cliff sweet. That's what it is. And his team sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's t- tough get hard. They they want to quit. They some they some hoes. Shut up, bro. So that's how I feel. Like. They just they just don't have that that mm behind them. So you know what I'm saying? They're not time of the year, bro. That's grit. So I don't know. I don't think this moves really helps them that much. Uh your, it helps. Yeah, I mean, it helps because you losing one guy, Marquise. But I still don't see him being like a playoff team. I don't. I don't see them getting over the hump with or without Roby. To be honest, just get the ball to ten, bro. That's all I need. He's bro, that's some self. That's some selfish shit. No, I ain't gonna lie for them, bro. No, what do you? Nah, mean? no. Is he on your fantasy team? Yeah. Yes. I right, then. Bro, I wasted a pick picking him. He's stupid. Yeah, I early did. too. I took him early, forgetting he was suspended. Yeah, Rob was like, D-hop's doing the boy. This nigga's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid, bro. This boy, dumb. He gonna keep leaving D-hop here. I'm just looking at a round five. I'm like, give me D-hop. <clears throat> like, everybody, 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 here, everybody. They're like, you took him kind of early out here. I'm like, D-hop. D-hop, man. He top ten, bro. Talk about. Draft and he see the he see the injury report like oh this hey, is question why we talking about D Hop though what what did this is kind of like off topic uh what do y'all rank D Hop as receivers right now it's hard to say you ain't seen D Hop in some time I mean based well on he's his... definitely behind Jahan Dawson so we'll figure it, we'll figure it out from there well you do your okay. other you do your other show before right right right, right. Um, so relax because um, uh, I'm not even about to acknowledge what you said. Um, but you got a problem with what I said, bro? What I say? Yeah. What I say that was wrong. I'm thinking about top five. How many cut. how many catches Jahan Dawson got, and how many catches did the Dahadra the Hodra Hopkins got? The Hodra Hodra Hopkins. Oh, okay, bro. <laughs> he said the Hodra the Hodra Hopkins. <laughs> bro, who did he just say, bro? The Hodra. That, that was an accident, bro. <laughs> he said the Hodra mother and the Hodra. Like, bro, the Hodra Hopkins, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. bro, we ain't about to skip pass this. Jahan, Jahan got nah, we uh, not about to skip pass you, 12 bro. catches. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's because he's he been, he been hurt the last two games. Okay, and DeAndre Hopkins hasn't played a snap. I so. bet he, he probably exactly. get 12 in two weeks, bro. If I'm thinking top five, Cup, Jay Jettas, Chase, I mean, excuse me. I'm gonna say Diggs somewhere in the in that top three. Diggs top three, bro. He might be. He I said, so, I said, he'd be the best one the for real. Three. Uh, yeah. D Hop probably still top five. Devontae, Cup. Oh, got about Devontae. Devontae, Devontae five. Cup. I mean, I'm, I'm not giving no order. I'm just saying these would be my top five receivers. Jamal. D Hop ain't up there, bro, but he's top 10. I think he like top seven. Cause I always cap off my elite players, like my elite receivers, elite of the elite. Tariq. I cap them off at like top seven. Tyreek. Bro, 
Tyreek Hill. It is so many. It's a lot of literally is getting 170 yards every, almost every time he play. Like it's ridiculous. No matter who back there, he catching 10 balls 150 almost every week, bro. I'm like, I'm looking at his numbers. I'm like, every week he's getting 30 plus points in fantasy, bro. It's bro, ridiculous. this man got 700 yards receiving already. Like it's crazy, bro. Oh, that's wild. I know a lot. That um, 14 yards of catch, 50, 50, 50 receptions. I think it was the Ravens game, bro. Yeah, oh, this dude boat. Mike McDaniels know how to use him, bro. Slim was going crazy. crazy, bro. I'm like, bro, how do you let this man get behind y'all, bro? Like, what are y'all thinking? Beating double coverage, beating the safety over top. I'm like, come on, bro. You got one job to safety. You already 17 yards back, bro. Keep backpedaling. Open yeah, he up. leading the league. He got 50 catches, 700 yards, 701 yards. Leading the league in yards. Only got two touchdowns on the year, but he got um, second in Damn, receptions bro. at 50. And right above him is 56 with Cooper and Cooper Cup. Hey, look up uh, Michael Thomas' numbers. Has how he been playing? I mean, see how many slants he's been running. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm about to, I am about to see where Mike Thomas at, but see how many times he ran that slant. At least at, at least 17. Uh Michael is he got 16 receptions, 171 yards, three touchdowns. So Jahan Dawson better than uh than Michael Thomas. Yep. What? Oh, shit. Antonio, Antonio Gibson better than Michael Thomas. Yep. Okay. Trying to think of other tough receivers: Debo, Debo, AJ Brown. We're not gonna talk about him. I mean, I'm just saying though, AJ. Nah, AJ, AJ cooking, bro. He doing. He look like he flourishing without uh, you know that, that them shackles on his feet. Them shackles on his feet. Okay. Yeah. He okay. Thirty three catches, five hundred yards, fifteen yards of reception. I did hold my boy back though, bro. How we hold him back? We threw him the ball all the time. Oh, held my man back, bro. Yeah, okay. Sixteen yards. We threw him the ball all the time. Fifteenth, fifteenth, and uh, what was his numbers last year? He was injured a lot last year, but he's still probably a little, thousand, probably a little pedestrian. Y'all, tra- y'all train the room ain't good. Y'all got my boy. Ain't good. Come on, bro. <laughs> got my boy, bro. Hey, this ain't looking too good for y'all, bro. All right, um, let's go ahead and move on to uh, our power rankings. Um, matter of fact, no, we can't, we can't, right? We can't overlook the fact that the Dallas Cowboys just lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. We gotta yeah, make sure that you go ahead and get your go ahead and get your spill out the way, Nick. You know what I'm saying? Talk your shit about these these Dallas Cowboys, man. And who y'all got next? Yeah, well, but one thing at a time. Talk about your talk about your boys, and then we'll we'll focus on Week Seven after this. All right, cool, man. Um, the Rush Hour Five was a bad movie, uh, terrible movie, probably the worst movie I've ever seen, bro. Um, but I mean, what happened? What happened on was it Sunday night? Hap- See, I said it was gonna happen, bro. Um, I said that he was gonna come out strong. He's gonna start fast. He's gonna get up early. He's gonna come back in the second half, and we, which we did, and that last drive. 13 plays, we know you're running the ball. We got to stop that. 13 plays, six, I think it was like seven minutes, 45 seconds. Um, that last drive, it killed us, bro. But Cooper Rush, show me what he is, bro. A backup, like I've been saying this whole fucking time. And now everybody, Skip, and all Skip followers, all them dummies, is like, oh, Cooper <laughs> Rush, Cooper Rush the future. Cooper Rush is this. He that man. <laughs> we don't need that. Shut up. <laughs> Y'all finally played a team. Now, granted, probably one of the best teams in the league. But the pick, the, the pick, the, uh, the jump to slave was terrible. Um, when he, I only pick I, I'll give him something for is, uh, I guess the one he got hit by Brandon Graham. But the jump, uh, when Bad Bear got the tip, terrible. Cooper Rush ain't that good, bro. Um, and defense, he put the defense in terrible spots with both picks. Uh, Mike McCarthy, I don't know what he was doing. When he got the first down or the fourth down, they're going to rush and do a bootleg on fourth and one on our own 35, which a defense only gave a few points after that. But I'm like, bro, you can't. What are we doing? Um, 
But I thought defense played a good game. Uh, it sounds to like, too, though, that you like living like in a little microwave society type of reaction right now. Like, I think everybody – now, I'm not going to sit here and say that you were in – you were completely incorrect with your your perspective from the fans about Cooper Rush. But I also think that I think the large majority will probably be on the side of knowing, already knowing that Cooper Rush ain't the future. Like I think Bruh. the majority no, 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 of no, 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 no. I think the majority is the people who believes that Cooper Rush isn't the future. And then the minority in which you are addressing, I think, is the the side that thinks that Cooper Rush is the future. I ain't gonna lie to you. My my point is, like, I don't know if this, like, your reactions, um, is more like in a bubble versus it is like the actual reality that the team ain't that bad. Y'all just ran into a fucking a better team right now, especially at quarterback. Yeah, I think that's just really what the truth is, bro. We were, you know, what I'm saying, ran into a good team, but I just felt like Cooper Rush. Honestly, if he didn't throw those three picks, he probably looking at a different game, but. But obviously, <laughs> not a guy who me three picks. Nigga. But I'm just saying, though, I'm just saying, like even the first two jumps were terrible. If he didn't throw them, like, I like, bro, you, I was in the, I'm glad I ain't watching the game with nobody because I was in this jump cussing. But I wasn't 5'11, I, I wish I could dunk. You know what I mean? Like, what the, if he didn't throw them three picks? <laughs> a lot of things could have, a lot of things could have went differently. Um, but I felt like I, our O line held up for the most part. Um, they had to hit on throw three picks. We in the uh, AFC Championship game. Come on, but it was funny. They was the same picks like Tannehill. So they guess they both in the same level. No way. That no stupid way. slant. He threw that. Dunk. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. You what you think? Tannehill Jones was worse. Hey, nah, that man. Of course, that was worse. That bro, man nah. Tannehill threw a pick in, and like it was eight in coverage, bro. Bro, boy threw a pick the first play of the game. Boy threw a pick on the goal line. Boy threw a pick in the fourth quarter to end our last fourth quarter drive, bro. Don't get worse than that. Yeah, it don't get worse than that. Yeah. But um uh, to to Mars point though, when you said like the minority. But when I tell you when I, everybody on Twitter, a lot of people on Twitter, Good Morning America, Kyle Brandit, all of them, uh Max Kellerman. Uh only person that really ain't said was Shannon and Keyshawn. And Michael Irvin. Everybody else, bro. Shady, all of them, bro, going crazy about Cooper Rush. I was like, bro, my man, a backup forever. Um, and then <laughs> first thing, my first thing, my McCarthy said in the post game presser was, uh, Dak Prescott will be starting next week, and that's all you need to. That's all you need to know. Uh, so we got a chill game. First Detroit, but they come off a of bye week. Uh, I feel like they're going to try to give it their all. They, you know, what I'm saying they rest up, but we also pissed off. So hopefully we can respond, blow them out. Um, but it's going to be an uphill battle for the rest of the season, bro. We got to win, not necessarily win out, but we're not going to division most likely because Philly schedule probably cup, probably the easiest schedule I've ever seen. I don't even know how many why they got so many easy teams, bro. Like it's low key blowing me how sweet that schedule is. Um, the hardest thing they got going forward is us. That's a lie. You got the Eagles. That's shit. definitely a lie, bro. Okay, us, the Titans, and they got the Giants. Yeah, twice. Ma, do not say the Commanders. Please don't. He you said the stick. Eagles. Bro, they got the Packers on their schedule, bro. Come on, bro. The Packers just lost to the Jets, who y'all just said wasn't that good. And they lost to the, the They got Giants. the Packers on their schedule. Lost to the Giants. And... They got the commanders one more time on their schedule. Too. Come on, bro. Hey, they might not play. Just in case. <laughs> we all played in week 17? Week 18? Nah, week 10, bro. Week 10. How much think you're gonna yeah. lose about? That's gonna be a backup quarterback in there, too. Nah, it's Sam, behind the key. Sam Howard take or behind the key. Behind the key. And they finna behind wax. The key. Finna wax y'all. Um she... They ain't about to do nothing, bro. But no, nah, they got, I mean, us Giants, Titans. Only team that can probably give them an L on the remainder of the schedule. So we got to win out. And then the Giants out here trying to be good. They 5 and 1. Trying to be good. They got better record than y'all. Exactly. So we got to catch up to them. Um, but I, funny thing is, if all of us make it to the playoffs. Yeah, now nah, we could. 
I meant all of us good teams. Who's we? The, all of us good teams in Division One. <laughs> Who is huh? me, <laughs> now I was just saying, if we turn things around, we can, we can turn things that, around. <laughs> we getting that uh that AC on that seven seed. Y'all can't turn a piece of paper around, but y'all, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, it's over for y'all, bro. Yeah, nah, we can turn things around, bro. Come on, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I understand crazier things, bro. Y'all barely, y'all barely hey, bro, he believe. I can't turn a piece of paper around. Y'all, y'all gotta barely, believe, bro. Y'all barely beat the Bears. Y'all talking about what? Oh, God. Come on, bro. I wish y'all the best, though. You know I, I ain't that type of guy. I wish y'all the best for sure. I mean, that's cool because I wish them the best too, bro. I, I I know the Dallas Cowboys, man. Dallas Cowboys is prone to folding. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie though. If if, the, if it was a year to be great, it's the perfect year to do it, bro. What you mean? I about to say what 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 minimum NFC championship. Cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Um, right, yeah. I, I know yeah, you got the Dallas. I mean, you got the Indianapolis Colts coming up on your on your plate. You had a bye week this week. How did the bye week treat you? Um, obviously, perfect timing with your boat. You know, what I'm saying you went on the boat. This oh, week. perfect. Oh, that was um, all, that was all undue planning. So that all worked out. So you mm-hmm. know, Graves let me know what his schedule was at the beginning of the season. So I mm-hmm. figured. I plan my vacation time around the bye week, so I'm back recovered and real rested, you know, to get back for the rest of the second half of the season for us. So, um, yeah, it worked out great. So, you know, this is Coast Week coming up. Um, you know how we handle that. You know, last was this, I think, I, yeah, I think this would be six in a row that we, we beat the Colts because it's going to happen again to coming down to Nashville. We owe them one more spanking to send them away on, on their way home. And um, y'all gonna have money back at the show? Y'all gonna have coming three six. You know how they come. Okay, do deuce. No. Okay, go. Hold on, wait. We talking about Memphis? Hold on, wait. What's going on, bro? Right? Uh... The prior all come through. You know what I mean? They got regular stuff. Um, what about to have Gotti? No money back. You know he was at the home opener. Brought us out. We ain't doing too much. You know, did I go? Did I go pregame hype video? Little music video. You're free with me. That's how you talking shit. We ain't worried about it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a little nice little week coming up, man. Division game always get always fun times for those, man. I always look forward to them games, man. Regardless, though, on, on all jokes aside, I'm looking forward to the game Sunday. Um, yeah, I think I'm. You know, I'm not gonna put no score on it, but I'm feeling like we're getting in the groove right now. I think Derek Henry looking like he's running a little harder than I've seen him running in some. Some time, so I'm 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 looking forward to that game to see if we can keep keep up with the consistency. I think this is three in a row. Oh, be so now this ain't this ain't gonna be no easy jump, bro. It ain't never easy to be no no divisional opponent twice, but also not twice in what three weeks, bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's all what y'all good. got. Yeah, that's, that's not a problem. That's, that's what y'all um, got next, bro. Yeah, we're gonna beat them. Um, uh, what's the score gonna be, bro? I just did you hear me say I'm not gonna put no score on it, bro. Knowing how they can game was go. Well, would, would would y'all win by more than six points? Hard to say. Our second half off has been trash, so it depends. Man, you on just see what Maddie Ice is in the second half versus Jaguars, bro. What what he do? Hey, I'm willing to put some money on it if you bro, think y'all gonna my win. My man by just more threw six. for three. My man just threw for three eighty nine, bro. And a game winning thirty on Jacksonville, right? Alec Alec Pierce, he that guy. 14. Yeah, he's straight. 14. Cool. Yeah, you know how corners are a little shaky. They shaky. 14. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna hold you, Your bro. boy Farley, bro. I'm for the bet on 14 uh, props this weekend. Hey, sorry, bro. Hey. We, we, we hope we hopefully getting Elijah Molden back this week. I hope that guy. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Y'all need to what's keep. up with your boy um, Traylon? I know he hurt, but what's going on? Put him on our week, four weeks. So yeah, he, this would be the third week. This week, so after next week, so probably two more weeks before he come back. What do you hurt, okay. bro? His feelings? Turf toe. Relax, bro. Don't do that. Come on, bro. Hurt a little teeny toe. That's just like that's just like wow. Westbrook. That's wow. just like Westbrook. I love uh, to see whether y'all walk up with with, with uh, walk around with the turf toe and see if y'all play football. Hey, bro, I had it, bro. Oh, oh you can run routes and all that and, and cut ran up. it, ran them. Okay. okay, I love to see that. Must not know where I'm from, bro. Where you from, bro? Talk to me. 
<laughs> what the, what is that? <laughs> Nigga, 12, Merlin. 12 stacks, boy. <laughs> what you talking about? 12 stacks. And nah, boy. hey, Rod, seriously, I need you to let me know who, who finna check 14, bro, because I feel like. First of all, Brian, 14 played the last time he played him. What'd he do? Lost. What is what his numbers look like? What he I don't, did. I don't he care lost. about his loss. You know, you want to know what's crazy, bro? Um, this is so off topic, but I bet on uh Austin Eckler last night to get over 37 yards and he like that. four catches. Bro, it took him 10 catches to get it. Oh, to get over 37 yards? Yeah, he got it. I, you know what I'm saying? I went to sleep easy, but I'm like, bro, it shouldn't take him. He was he was getting endless targets yesterday. He probably like yeah, he was targets. getting because first of all, Herbert. I don't know. He threw 57 passes last night. First of, all, first of all, I threw 57 passes tonight, last night. And then I had to watch the whole game because, of course, I got fantasy people playing. I had to make sure I was tuned in the whole time. You had to watch it, but I got you. Oh, I have? Please, bro. This you is this is what it, I bro. do. We should do we should do a fantasy mm-hmm. segment, too, but y'all probably don't want to be interested in that. But, um, yeah, he was checking down the Eckler all night, but they were swarming. Oh, my That's gosh. Another question I got with y'all real quick. Ain't gotta be nothing too crazy, but I got a little little dilemma. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with my fantasy mob this week coming up. So Denver plays the Jets, right? And I got both of the defenses. So would you rather play the Jets defense versus Russell or Denver's defense versus Zach Wilson? Jets defense. You said that kind of quick, okay? I would have said, said it just as quick, bro. So this is the thing. Uh, We're talking about uh, Russell Wilson, bro. Has been. You know what I mean? They haven't been giving up a lot, bro. Who? Oh, you know what? I'm tripping. I'm sitting here. The Jets thinking. offense ain't really talking about a whole lot either. No, they not. But I would go Jets... with I would go with I would go with Denver defense. I'm I'm I, I did have a brain fast for a second. I would go with Denver defense. The Jets can run the ball. Uh Josh Jacobs, they be they be y'all like running. Josh Jacobs plays for the Oakland Raiders. But I'm saying he had a good day versus um versus Denver. Probably like one he like one ten. Okay. Um so this one thing, I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a short game, low scoring. Uh, I don't know. I can't trust West, bro. And I Denver know. defense, I did at the A Rod last week too. And I do believe Denver defense strap, but like they gonna run on the boys all day. And then uh, what you call it? Special teams is better. You might mess around, get a block. They just bro, they just had what forty six points last week. The defense. Who? Oh, I don't know how long that lasted. The end of that finished him like thirty five, which is still great for a fantasy defense. Yeah, so. they got, bro. Russell might give him a pick six, but um, yeah, and there's so much turmoil in Denver, brother. They don't want to play. Is it turmoil, bro? Or you see him on the sideline. It's Melvin, disappointment. That's what it is. Melvin yeah. ain't getting no carries because he's stuck and he was upset. He got three carries. Pouting on the sideline. Side okay. Yeah, three oh, carries last night. Yeah, they took him out earlier. Todd needed yeah. him to play because he was only <laughs> down like 10 points. Bro, why would he trust Melvin Gordon fumbling ass, bro? <laughs> but he also had Mike Williams. But the thing about it is um, Mike Williams getting checked by Sertain. Sertain wouldn't have none of that. Yeah, bro. He was all over. <laughs> Come on, bro. He wouldn't have none of that, bro. Seat belts. Like, he was he was, he was, was non-existent last night. Yeah. But um, as far as Melvin Gordon, he ran the ball three times. Hey, y'all. They said, give me a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> the boy helmet. Bro, he, ain't... he didn't put a helmet on the rest of the game, bro. <laughs> like, <That's wicked>. my, <laughs> they, they said, we signed Latavius for a reason. Latavius got the rest of the carries. Rest of the game. Yeah. They said, Latavius, how you feel? I feel good. All right, Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you Melvin. warmed up yet? Yeah, we got just signed the guy the last three minutes before the game started, bro. Just signed, bro. Him, they had Boone in the game. Boone Melvin on the pass plays. They was like, yo, Melvin, we, honestly, bro, we'll take it from here. Nah, bro. nah, Melvin must have been hurt, bro. For sure. No, he bro, been, he must have been injured. He was in the locker room, and they interviewed the boy. He was like, yeah, I don't know what's, what's up. I don't know why they benched me. Uh had a healthy scratch, Nah, he just, he just lying, bro. He just lying. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, let's go ahead and get to our power rankings and close out with our best bets. Um, I'll start off my my side uh, with the power rankings. Obviously, for those who are, if you're new, we, we're doing them um, on a six-week basis since it's the new schedule, week six, week 12, week 18, so essentially week seven, I guess, um, in a sense. But uh, we're going to go ahead and knock our power rankings out, our first power rankings uh, of the season. And, fellas, I'll get a first stab at mine's. 
Um, in order, uh, I'll go five to one. Number five, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, the Tampa Bay. <laughs> Tampa Bay, man. Um, I mean, for all his worth, I I understand they're struggling offensively, but Tom Brady's Tom Brady. Um, it's going to take some time for to get things turned around. He's obviously going through some things mentally and, and personally, um, but eventually when it clicks, I'm betting that it clicks. Um, but ultimately, they're still playing pretty good defensively too, so um, it's just a little phase that they're going through. I think they'll be fine. Number four, and this is based on – not excuse me, not based on. This is stemming from a conversation I want to talk about with the Cincinnati Bengals is the Cincinnati Bengals. At mm-hmm. defense, I saw some things throughout these last few weeks that told me, like, they got off to a slow start record-wise, but they've been in almost every game. They've been fighting every single snap, every single quarter. Um, and I think that championship mindset still exists. Um, anytime you can line up Jamar Chase on any side of the field and uh, you know that you're going to throw to Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow knows that he's going to throw to Jamar Chase, the defense knows he's going to throw to Jamar Chase, and Jamar Chase still catches it. They some dogs. You can't do nothing about that. And that's what happened on that fourth down and two, I think, against the, the, the New Orleans Saints, bro, was incredible. Um, that's number four. Number three uh, is, is Philadelphia Eagles. Um, yeah, sh- shout out to them. I'll keep it pushing. Um, number two is the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, and then, obviously, number one is the Buffalo Bills. I think Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills mesh well together in, in the sense of breaking them down by – quarterback you got one of the you got the league's best quarterbacks on your teams uh the 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 battle that they just went and and took place in in this previous week uh between those two was uh, spectacular again um and and it just shows you how like the levels in which competent and efficient and elite quarterback play can really go to and how you can win a tightly contested game that doesn't even involve a lot of points so uh to rehash tampa bay number five cincinnati number four eagles number three chiefs number two and Bills number one. Okay. So at five, I'm gonna go with Cincinnati Bengals for a lot of the reasons Jamari pointed out. Um for much of the season, Jamar Chase has kind of been having the off year a little bit for the for the most part. But that second half, I mean, he turned up and I felt like, you know, that's just gonna get them going for the rest of the season coming up. So I'm looking forward to them. Like Nick said, their second half defense also has been playing great as of late as well. Um, number four, I was kind of on the fence of how I wanted to flip flop these two, but I'm gonna say many have four, five and one. I think they deserve some respect. I don't really think many people could have. Well, I know Mom may maybe have said something, which I'm surprised he didn't put him in his top five. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about that. Another thing that I was right about. The division, Vikings, number one, AFC North, continue. I mean, excuse me, NFC North, continue. Not sure why he did not in your top five. I'm seeing this, I only lost once, five does, but neither, neither here nor there. Um, they're looking good, offense moving. Kirk Cousins still has little lapses here and there, but still has been shown to be, you know, a, a pretty good quarterback, and I feel like he's going to get a little better as the season goes on. They're they kind of in a good group. Pretty good quarterback, if I do say so myself. Pretty good quarterback, if I do say so myself. Um... At three, I'm going to go Kansas City. You know, they had a, had a tough loss last week against the Bills. Still was a close game. But Bills being one of the tougher teams, not get to them in just a few minutes. Um, but, uh, yeah, Kansas City is still forming an opponent. Still somebody that you got to be able to just know. They still can come in anywhere and beat you. So, I got them at three. <sighs> this was tough. Between two and one. But I'm going to say Bills at two. Right. I'm going to go Bills, too. Very tough. Very tough for me to do that. But still, one, Philly, 6 and up. Got it. I mean, they're undefeated, bro. Like I'm, They have to go to number one. Like, defense are playing lights out. Corners, pass rush, offense. Even Miles Sanders started to get off a little bit last game. I mean, if, if they're able to make a trade for a better little upgrade position at the running back, which which is something that I think they could possibly do. But I got to put Philly on one, bro. Buffalo Bills for a lot of stuff. Ma already pointed out. They looking good, too. But out of the AFC, I still got, you know, 
top two teams being the being the Bills and the Chiefs still. So, but yeah, that's my list, baby. All right, solid list. Uh, I'm gonna start top down and go down, bro. At number one, Buffalo Bills, bro. Um, yeah, the Eagles are six and zero, but the Bills have beat the Rams, Titans. They beat Baltimore and Kansas City. Resume speaks for itself, bro. Only team they lost to. I mean, they beat uh, they beat the Brakes off of Pitt, but it's Pitt. Um, only loss they had was the Dolphins when they were clicking with Tua, uh, which isn't a bad loss and in, in its in division. So going with them boys at one. Number two, I go with the Eagles. I give my respect when it's due. Um, the schedule a little light. I do have some concerns about them in their second half. Also, going into the playoffs, um, they're not really going to have too many tests. Uh, so that should be interesting. I know last year when they finally made it to the playoffs, um, got that ass whipped. Um, so I, I, I'm not going to say the same thing might happen this year, but you play a, cake, a cupcake schedule and you go get some real teams after a while. The lights get different, and you don't want your first test to be in the playoffs. So that should be that should be kind of interesting how that plays out. Um, depending on who they get, they probably get a first round bye anyway. So see how that works out. Number three, my homeboy up there in Kansas City can't go wrong with him. Um, they had you know tough losses. Uh, I think they lost. I know they lost to Buffalo this weekend, which is also a good game. And I can't think of who they else they lost to. Um, who else they lost to? Colts, bro. Colts. That's an ugly loss. Um, that is terrible. Oh, I think they lose the call. Not me. Thank you for the money. I, hey, I feel you, bro. I think I had the first half of that. Um, but yeah, uh, number four, pretty easy. I'm gonna go with uh, Minnesota. Um, I mean, what can I say? Are they five and one? They had their. They start off well and they kind of fizzle out in the end. Um. As long as Kirk Cousins can stay away from some, stay away from primetime games, <laughs> they solid. Um, and I feel like their offense will get better as the season goes on. Um, and then at number five, I am going to go with. It's gonna hurt my soul, bro. New York Football Giants. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. Good coaching can really make a difference on any mob. Daniel Jones isn't the best quarterback, and they don't they don't actually be the best quarterback. They said they played great defense. Their pass rushes got better. Um their D line actually pretty good. Their defense is there's not really a lot of names, but they just make plays and find ways to um win ball games. And to be tested early, you beat the Ravens. They got a couple nice couple wins. The only loss they had was versus us. Um beat Aaron Rodgers um, and your defense showed up in both of those games, causing big turnovers. And I just feel like right now, uh, I need to see a little bit more uh, of the Bengals offense be on track before I can be like, they're technically better than them. Saquon healthy. Um, their receivers a little shaky, but for somehow they win in games. Um, and I feel like Zach Taylor is not a better coach than Brian Dabo. So I'm going to give them the nod just because of that. Okay. I think it's a valid point about coaching, but I don't think it's too strong to put him in that goddamn top five. But it's the reason why we all got our own list. And you know what that means. Speaking of our own picks and our own list, terrible transition, but it's whatever. It's time to beat the odds. Mm -hmm. It's time to beat the goddamn odds, fellas. And... Let's go ahead and share the screen so we can get an update on how everybody did from the week before. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, since I'm looking, how, how y'all think y'all did just off the top of y'all memory before I share the screen? I'm probably like one and two. Two and one. Okay. I don't even remember all the games we picked. We could tell. Okay. I know I had the Bengals right. right. I know I had. Um, I know we picked that Chargers game, but I think the line, the Chargers only won by three. No, nah, no Chargers game. No Chargers game. You didn't do Chargers game? No. Nah, only nah, the only thing I missed was the game, was the man. boys plus six. The only reason you missed that because that's plus five. Y'all suck, bro. But, yeah, nah, y'all do suck, bro. All right. Y'all do suck. All right. I just don't go down all the way like this. All right, yeah, here we you go. suck. That's why. What I get, bro? 
Oh, Cincy. Cincy and Buffalo. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. So we go ahead and put – oh, Lord. Go ahead and put that – um. That one and two right there by Rod name because he was right. He got that one and two, y'all. And me and Nick got that two and one. And they lost by four. Mm, mm, mm. Who lost by four? New Orleans. Saints. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Aints. I had them at two. Hell, yeah. Let's go ahead and put the new games in. Oh, Lord, I exited out on accident. Um, Let me go ahead and find my games again so we can put those in the lineup. <laughs> Put them dying in a line. Me to, you need me to tell you what you the game what? I got them right here. I just had to pull up my, my uh, sheet again. All right, so the first game we got, fellas, is New York Giants on the road against the Jacksonville Jaguars. What the line is? Minus three. Let me go ahead and put all of them in here. Jazz right got the minus three? Mm. Jazz got the minus three. Oh, give me the Giants. <laughs> Give me the Giants, please. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and put these jumps in right quick. All right, so Rod said he wanted the Giants, New York Giants, plus that three. Okay. Oh, um, there we go. New York Giants plus the three. Where we at with it, Nick? This is tricky, man. You know, uh, like oh, Rome always, like Rome always says, what does the line say? Uh and it says that this is a, it's an even game, um, and also what even. you call it? Mm. Yeah, they're saying it's an even game because you get three points for being at home. So they're saying if there's a neutral field, it'd be a pick em. Um With that being said, this looks like a letdown spot for the Giants just because they come off with two back-to-back wins. But I don't give a damn. Give me the motherfucking Giants, bro. Plus three. They five one for a reason, bro. Doug Peterson versus right. Brian Dayball. Give me that boy. All right. Well, appreciate you. I'm gonna go ahead and mm. easily without a shadow of a doubt take that Jacksonville minus three. Cause that's <laughs> dummy. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. We who we gonna listen to? The guy who just went one and two the last two <laughs> weeks. It doesn't even matter. I can tell you right now, Jacksonville ain't winning that game by plus three. <laughs> I'm bro, you, bro, you a Titans fan, bro. I'm, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, let's get the numbers. Get to the second game, bro. Seattle on the road the against the Chargers. <laughs> Seattle on the road against the Chargers, bro. Chargers six and a half point favorites, nigga. I'm going with you first. Who you got? Come on, bro. I already, I already told Gino what to wear. <laughs> Gino finna wear these three old shoes again. Drop 350 on the Chargers. Give me Seattle, bro. Bro, Ryan's hilarious, bro. Y'all got come on. That's a lot of points, bro. Let's <laughs> see, minus six and a half. I just might lose outright, bro. You better stop me to hit that bro. control C, control V for the boys up in the Pacific Northwest. Give me the Seattle Seahawks plus six and a half. We moving on to the Sunday night football game between the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Miami Dolphins are seven point favorites, fellas. Miami. Um, did you hear what I said? Miami are seven point favorites. Miami, okay. Miami seven for Rye. A lot of points, but he said he wants it. Nick, where you at? Bro, this is a lot of fucking points. I also don't know who's playing quarterback for uh Pittsburgh. I think Tua could possibly come back. Give me um <coughs> give me the dolphins. All that intimidation I tried to pull with Ryan. I'm in the same boat. I went to Miami. Um, I don't think Pittsburgh gonna cover this one. They just got a big road, they got a big home win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now they gotta go on the road. Sunday night game against the Miami Dolphins. Who is looking to get some of their players back specifically, probably to a sure. And then they got Tariq, and, number one receiver in the NFL right, right now. Man, out out at live Sunday Saturday night, bro. Bro, they finna be drunk, bro. Over with. The game at Sunday night, bro. Exactly. Hung over, bro. I've been there. <laughs> I know how to go. Um, 
This right. dodge game eating me up, bro. That plus three is a, is is so wicked to me. It it feels like a trap. And you didn't ask yourself once why, uh, boy, Draymond is hilarious, bro. What happened for that video? The the green suit. Oh, I ain't see the suit. Yeah, 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 green suit. Um, <laughs> I'll send it to the chat. Um, okay. So that's gonna wrap it up for uh the beat the eyes, man. The fellas, 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 man. Good luck to y'all this week. Um, let me see. Bro, he look like a fool. I'm at bro. I'm at odds uh, only on the, the Giants game and the Seahawks game with you all. So um to hell with y'all on those two, but let's ride Miami. You know what I'm saying? Uh the fellas. For everybody that's listening, appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for checking in. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll be back next Wednesday. Same time, 7 p.m. sharp. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all see be it. safe. Y'all stay tuned for the you Commanders see Morning Shows. You see it. <laughs> Pre games, the immediate mm-hmm. post games. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to get ready for this goddamn NBA mm-hmm. season that's starting off the night. Right, Nick. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. And until next time. <laughs> Damn, set, huh. Watch him throw the ball. We're going to pick it up. You gonna let him hit the hole or you gonna cut it off? You gonna play through fourth and long or you gonna punt it off? Your defenders have you hit us, put your pads in. Don't be looking for the ref to throw no flags in. Keep the helmet on, keep the cleats tight. You the type to want to win by any means, right? You should look alive, this is trap or dive.